Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and another review. I just got back from seeing the outfit at the theater, so let's talk about it. And as always, we just start off with a brief synopsis. So the outfit is a movie about an expert tailor who must outwit a dangerous group of mobsters in order to survive a fateful night. So pretty simple premise. I didn't really know too much going into it. I had seen one trailer, but I, the trailer didn't really speak too much to the story as I remembered. But it looked it looked interesting and one that I was curious to see. And I had also glimpsed on Rotten Tomatoes that I was sitting at like 95%, I think, a few days ago. So it looked like it was getting pretty, yeah, positive reception. And then me already being interested from the trailer, I was, that kind of just elevated my expectations going in. So I think I had pretty high expectations. Uh, but yeah, now that I've seen it, let's, uh, let's talk about it. And for... This review specifically, I will, I think I'm going to go into spoilers, so here's a spoiler warning. I will just say that I think my, one of the favorite things, or one of my favorite things about the film is the plot and how the story plays out. So I think to be able to talk about it very much at all, uh, it, I'm just going to go into some spoilers. So uh, you've been warned. But with that, we'll jump into what I liked about the film, uh, which first off is the plot. I thought the... The screenplay was very well written, and the plot as it unfolds was very engaging. So it's not a very flashy movie. There's not a ton of action. Uh, it all just kind of takes place in this one tailor shop or cutter shop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but the, yeah, so all you have is the drama that's there. And I really liked how they kind of... It was, it was interesting going through the movie and not really having the information. So, like, by the end, you figure out that the tailor, or the cutter, as he calls himself, he's technically not a tailor, uh, the cutter used to be in, uh, you know, a gang in, uh, there used to be a gangster in London. And, yeah, as you're watching the movie, it's it was great to finally get that reveal, because, like, two, or, th like, maybe five minutes before we got that reveal... I was kind of sitting there in my seat being like, okay, this is really cool how it all played out, how this uh, this guy outwitted all these mobsters that just came into his shop. but And they're like, oh, he's great at thinking on his feet. But a part of me had like had to suspend a bit of... Uh, or I, yeah, part of me was just in a bit of disbelief. Like, how could he think on his feet that well to basically outplay these mobsters who are in these sort of situations often enough, and certainly more than him. So the, yeah, that aspect of it, I, I had that, but then they resolved it by revealing he's actually, you know, used to be a gangster. And so that makes sense that he was able to think on his feet and kind of out uh, maneuver strategically as the events are playing out throughout the movie and all these other characters. So I thought that was really interesting. And yeah, because as, as it's going through, because about, yeah, was a third of the way through, he has that conversation with Richie that, you know, he says that he's the, the rat. And part of you believes him, because, like, but, like, and you're not sure, and it's, so, yeah, I thought the, the way the, the plot unfolded that way and revealing who the rat was, because, like, part of it you, like, had you thinking that it was maybe Francis, and then uh, when Mabel is brought in, you're like, well, maybe she could be. Francis is accusing her, but uh, it's like, you, I think you kind of dismiss it pretty quickly, though, because he just pulled her in, and you're like, oh, he's just, you know, using her as a scapegoat uh, to blame the death on Richie. So she's like, so I like, I don't know, I like the bait and switch, and that part of it, I thought, kept me engaged very much throughout the movie. So I thought the plot uh, was very good, and then the characters were all pretty uh, good, and it's like support supporting that i don't know that i have like a favorite character or any of them like connected with me very much personally uh and that's just i would say that's one of the things that i maybe didn't uh like love about the film but that's just a minor nitpick um but yeah otherwise i also liked kind of the narration over the entire movie i thought you don't get a whole lot of narrated movies so when you get them and they're done well kind of like this i really liked it and just how the the beginning is is uh, or how the movie opens, where he's just narrating how he makes a suit. I like thought to myself while I was watching it that the 
I was like, this is something that could just be in a documentary. And if I saw it in a documentary, I probably wouldn't be very interested in how suits are made. But like within, the, for whatever reason, it was pretty interesting how he's describing it. And I'm like, maybe I should go go check out a documentary or something on this because it, it actually is a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. So that was, uh, yeah, the, the narration throughout was a nice touch. And uh, other than that, I thought that the acting was good alongside like so kind of parallel the characters they were yeah good in support of the story and then uh, all the acting i thought fit their parts the i think richie i guess i don't know if people actually talked like that i know people talk like that in movies for the sort of chicago accent that he was going for but i don't like i feel like that's fairly stereotypical but maybe that's just how people did talk in the 50s in chicago i don't know but that was like the one the one accent that I was like, eh, but that's maybe just because it's so very different from what that actor has done in the other roles that I've seen him in. So yeah, that's, uh, I thought the, yeah, the overall, the, the, the plot is what, you know, makes this movie very good, and the, yeah, I thought at the end of the day, it felt kind of like a 1950s John Wick, but you don't, without all, like, the action, it's more of like a... It's looking at a gangster from his mind point of view, like having a very clever mind and keeping that even after he retires. But definitely got some of those vibes. Like this is the guy that wanted to get out, he got out, and then now he's getting dragged back in because of circumstances. So it, it reminded me of that, but it wasn't like in your face similar to John Wick, kind of like what Nobody was uh, that came out about a year ago. Like, that still was its own movie, but that felt kind of like a clone of John Wick. This didn't really feel like a clone. It just felt... It, it reminded me a bit of that, uh, which I thought also was refreshing, and it put its own spin on it to feel like it was its own thing. So that's, uh, that's what I liked about the film. There's really only a couple things that I had kind of mixed feelings on. I thought the... The Chicago mobster, uh, what was his name, Roy, I think, he was fine, I thought. I didn't fully buy that he was, you know, like, basically the head of of a gang in Chicago, and basically, like, the biggest gang, if he's getting, you know, potential, if he thinks he's big enough to go into the outfit, like, I don't know. The Having seen The Sopranos, I'm like, eh, I don't fully buy that he's a mob boss, but... I'm only, like, I buy it because the the movie tells me, not because the of the character. But that's, uh, I think, a minor nitpick. And then the other thing that I had some mixed feelings on, yeah, I'm still processing whether I liked it or didn't like it. The movie definitely feels like a play. Like, it all takes place at this tailor shop. And I don't think it's based on a play or anything. I think, I don't know, I did a quick Google search, so I could be wrong if you know, and I am wrong. Certainly correct me in the comments down below. But it, I don't think it's based on a play. Uh, it just, I think, has a smaller scope of what it was going for. I know this was the film directorial debut of the director, so maybe he had directed plays uh, but I think he worked on the screenplay as well for this, so maybe maybe that's uh, why. But it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's kind of like the Hateful Eight, which also that's a you know that there are movies that feel like plays. But I don't know if I think having that feel kind of limits what you can do. Like we didn't have any of the action scenes, so I yeah I I like that it's different as a movie where it doesn't have that like we could have seen the encounters with uh that like francis and richie had with the other gang but we don't see that we just see the aftermath when richie comes and he's been shot so i don't know if that would have necessarily improved the film like like i said i think this is just mixed i don't know how i feel <laughs> it's just something i wanted to point out but it's it works, though, to feel just like a play, uh, but I don't know if it maybe could have been better to add in a little bit more scope. So that was uh, very, very minor nitpicks. Overall, I did really like this movie. I thought it's a very good movie and one that I'd highly recommend. On a letter grade uh, sort of ranking, I would rate it and I'd give it an A. I think it's, it's upper A. It's close to S. I think this is probably my second favorite movie of the year after The Batman. But I think what keeps it from going into the S tier is that it 
just feels a little bit more small scale, which is fine in and of itself, but for my personal enjoyment to get something into the S tier as like one of my favorite movies, the 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 smaller scale and it kind of feeling a, a play for now at least that aspect and then not like really having a character to root for or feel very connected to any of the characters uh those kind of combined i think limit it from getting into that s tier for me but overall though a is still very good it's yeah like i said it's i think it's the second best movie we've gotten this year so far which i think is uh, saying quite a bit since we're about a quarter of the way through the year so far. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think this is still a very good uh, plot-driven crime drama that knows how to unfold the story as it goes and keep you invested until the very end. So that does it for my review for the outfit. If you've had a chance to see it, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this review, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next review.